I'm Shauna, and I'm here with my brothers Daniel and Darren Simkin. They're here to discuss The Traveler, a book Darren imagined and wrote. Together with Daniel, he's brought it to life with pictures. So tell us in a nutshell what The Traveler is about. The Traveler is about a boy named Charlie, who's not quite happy with the way he spends his time, so he decides to save it. He packs it all up into a suitcase and goes off in search of the perfect way to spend it so he can finally be happy. There are sort of two sources of inspiration for this story. One was something that someone said to me. They said, we only have so much time to give. So does that mean time is a tangible good? We can give time, we could take time. I wonder if time is like a currency. Uh, the, the other, the broader context for the story, I suppose, is what is important to us? What do we want to do with time, which is the most valuable and limited currency we have? Now, Daniel, how would you describe the style of the illustrations? We try to keep the illustrations as simple as possible, just like the, the plot of the story, and sort of let the messages of the book speak for themselves. One of the methods we, we chose to, to do that was to have many of the illustrations use shades of gray primarily, which would allow the reader to color the story by him or herself so they could better imagine themselves and their friends as the characters in the story and make the lessons that much more personal. When Darren asked me if I would be interested in working on the illustrations with him, it was initially a shock because on one hand, I had never done anything like this. But on the other hand, I've always enjoyed doing something similar, so ultimately I decided it'd be great to work with him. We really knew that we were in this together. I think we knew that we would have to rely on each other in order for the project to be successful. Who is the traveler for? I hope the story is for everybody. And there, there are two reasons why I say that. One is that Charlie's search is the search for happiness which I think we all, we all share, it's common to everyone. But what gets Charlie off in his journey, what drives him away from home, is that he has doubt that he's living his life as perfectly as he can. So this is, this is something that we all, I think, can really identify with. And while Charlie's journey itself may be unique to him, we can all see parts of ourselves and parts of our own experiences in that journey. Something unique about this story is that it also can relate to people in different ways as they age or as their lives change. It's a fluid book that can that can travel along your life with you.